Hi, this is Art. I'm N0EX. Let's talk about direction finding with an RF sniffer. An RF sniffer can help you when you get real close to the transmitter when there's a ton of signal. I have seen a lot of people get real frustrated with direction finding when they get within maybe 50 yards, even 25 yards, but there becomes so much signal that wherever they point the beam or the equipment they have, it 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 doesn't show them any direction. It is pinging their meter. So an RF sniffer, this is one that I have designed and built. This can allow you to home in on the transmitter when you're very, very close to it. You can walk essentially right up to the transmitter. There's no attenuation involved. There's no putting the attenuators in front of your radio. In fact, you don't even use this with a radio. You want a handheld on so you can hear if the transmitter is transmitting, but all you need to do is hook your um, tape measure beam into the BNC input and then turn the unit on and it's going to give you a higher pitch tone if it's getting more RF signal. And that's all you need to do is swing that beam till you get the higher pitch tone. The adjustment knob on the front allows you for kind of a pseudo attenuation adjustment. So I'm going to show you some videos that I shot earlier today of my RF sniffer um, outside in use. And I've also done a video to show you what it looks like when you have your handheld. My Yesu FT60 was 50 yards away from the transmitter, a one watt transmitter. No matter where I turned that beam, uh, the signal was max. So got that close, now you got max signal wherever you point the, the antenna and you don't know where to go. But with an RF sniffer, you do. Again, it's a, it's a tape measure beam into the BNC input and uh, there's a spot to plug in a headset. So hopefully you'll be able to hear the audio that the uh, sniffer puts out uh, on the recording. And what you're gonna get is a, is a ticking sound or a low frequency sound when there's no transmission or a, 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 a real low power transmission and you're going to get a higher pitch tone as you point that beam towards the transmitter. Let's watch some videos. Okay, here we are at about 50 yards from the transmitter. The transmitter is over there underneath the orange cone. Again, about 50 yards away. I'm demoing the sniffer. And when the transmitter comes on, it's going to make a tone. Swing the beam to where that increases. It's pointing me towards the fox. So I'm just going to keep going to where I get the highest pitch tone. Okay, now we're about 50 yards away from the transmitter again. And I'm using the tape measure beam hooked up to my FT60. It's got a nice big meter on it so you can see the signal. I'm going to demonstrate is that when you're real close to a transmitter and you don't have any attenuation, uh, it's very hard to direction find. When your meter shows, you know, full strength all the way around. So again, we're going to go ahead and rotate all the way around. The bottom bar is the signal strength. And there's no variation. Now I'm pointed exactly away from the transmitter. We're spinning around and there's still no variation on the meter. So that's why it's really hard to uh, DF without uh, something to knock the signal down on the receive end. Now we're about 10 yards away. I've got the attenuation all the way up, but what you see we're right on top of it. And you can see it's still very obvious to tell what direction it's in. Now we're about 200 yards away from the one watt transmitter. It's gonna come on in a second or two. So sniffer. Still picking it up at 200 yards and very easy 
to tell where it's at. You can adjust adjust the sensitivity if you want, the attenuation. You're looking for that little bit of tone. Okay, here we are at about a half a mile away from the uh, transmitter. So a little farther, this is about as far as I'm gonna go for the demo here. Not transmitting yet. You'll hear it come on in a few seconds. There it is. So you can tell we're just getting a little bit of signal. Again, highest pitch when I point towards the transmitter. So there's a few clips of the RF sniffer in action. So I'm wondering what you think. I'm wondering if you can use that in your direction finding. Uh, I will, I'm going to go through and give you a list of the features quick and then tell you where you can obtain the latest information on its availability. I'm going to try to build some of them up and sell them. So. Let me know if you're interested. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments below. I could put a link to that, but I don't know how to do that. Anyways, again, uh, provides an audio pitch relative to the signal strength, so higher pitch is stronger RF signal. So swing your beam and walk towards the higher pitch. So the nice thing about uh, converting the uh, signal strength into the audio is you don't have to be looking down at a meter and trying to move or looking down at a meter and moving back up. You just listen and walk so that's a benefit uh, it includes an internal high gain rf amplifier tuned for the two meter band again this is this one is specifically built for hunting on two meters and it's got uh, out of band filtering to cut down the out of band signals now you could get into a little struggle if you're you know trying to fox hunt right you know underneath a bunch of towers that are on you know vhf you might get some blips and beeps and some other signals showing up but um, if you're fairly close to the transmitter and you're using the beam you're going to be directional should be okay um, again no handheld radio receiver is needed there's no need to tune to a specific frequency you don't have to worry about switching in attenuators switching in an offset attenuator or tuning off frequency so it's you hook up your your uh, a short beam or your tape measure beam to it and you listen and you start walking there's actually two modes. I didn't demonstrate the automat auto range mode, but there's an auto range mode that will um, essentially uh, sense the highest RF and kind of set the uh, attenuation uh, to that level. I was uh, showing you uh, manual mode where I was just moving that little knob a little bit. And uh, so there's, there's actually two different modes. Other features, there's a little self check at power on, there's a low battery reminder, there's a, a status LED, and there's a battery saver mode that will do an auto off. It's got two uh, jacks on the front. There's an audio output jack, which is a, a stereo output uh, for your headphone. And there's an, also an audio input jack. I didn't demonstrate this on the video, but you can take vid, uh, audio from your handheld and feed it into the box and that audio from that mono input will end up in one side of your stereo headphone. So this side might be uh, your audio pitch from your uh, strength, and the other side will be the audio from your radio. And uh, that's kind of nice for keeping down external noises. Other people don't have to listen to the radio, listen to the beeps of the transmission. and. Um, it's uh, a good operating practice. You, you really kind of need to hear uh, a receiver, uh, be listening to the, the frequency you're listening to so you know uh, when it's active and when it's not. Um, runs off a nine volt battery, and uh, so that's pretty easy. The battery uh, fits right in the case. Uh, it's, if you order one, it's going to come as a kit. You're gonna get a completed, programmed, uh, printed circuit board, tested operational, 
you're going to get uh, the metal case and again metal shielded case because we're dealing with high RF environment. You're going to get the graphics to apply to the case and you're going to get a knob for the attenuation uh, adjustment. Um, you will need to drill some holes for the I.O. There's end panels come off of the case and you'll need to drill the holes for the I.O. And that's that's essentially all it is. It'll come with complete instructions. So to get more information, go to my QRZ page uh, at qrz.net and type in N0EX. And on my QRZ page, you will find the latest availability status of uh, my RF sniffer. I also probably will have some information on another radio direction finding device on there, the NZ1J radio direction finder. It's a, a time difference of arrival uh, RDF that I've repackaged into a, a, a smaller package using surface mount devices. So you can also look for that information on my page. So thanks for listening. Uh, comment, you know, subscribe, whatever you YouTube people do. Thanks.